Hi, thank you for coming to play with me in my garden today. Today we're going to talk about birds and butterflies and all the beautiful things that live in the garden space with us. Uh, specifically, we're going to have a topic that focuses today on the black swallowtail butterfly. So recently we had some of those beautiful butterflies sw sw flying around in our garden and they did the honor of putting their eggs down on our parsley plants. And so what has happened now is we have these beautiful poupées. We have some of the early stage poupée and we have some of the more mature or larger stage poupée. And you can tell by the ones that, this little one right here, that doesn't have any spikes on it, uh, that that's an early stage. And then you see the ones that have that are a little bit larger and have developed the spikes, and they are the second stage pupae. After mating, small yellow eggs are laid typically on plants from the carrot family. They include dill, fennel, queen anne's lace, parsley, and golden axelrod. They are also found eating ruined bishop's weed. The first instars grow to be about 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches long and resemble bird droppings. They are dark black with a white band in the middle and have spikes with light brown orange ring at the base of the spikes. So what we've got been able to do again here is see two different stages of these. Um, you could leave these out here in nature. Uh, it's a, there is a chance that they may be eaten by uh, a predator like a praying mantis or a bird or even a cat that might just come along to sort of play with them. But what we're going to do is we've decided we're going to turn this into a little project. So for our project, we've gotten a little butterfly house here. I'm going to step back a bit so you can see what this looks like. Uh, this is just a little netted, net banded uh, cage. And we've picked basically a stick up from our garden, which we're now going to put into this uh, house. And we're going to just affix that sort of in there. We're going to pull this flat back. And then we're going to go ahead and trim off those we're going to go ahead and insert actually some fresh parsley that we've just cut up into here so that they'll have plenty to eat. Uh, we want them to be uh, healthy and happy at this stage of their growth. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some little clippers uh, over here and I'm going to clip the base of this parsley off where they are eating away and having a good time. And once I do that, I'm just going to go down to the, the base of this plant. You can see right here. And I'm going to just clip free these particular ones that these coupe have been living on. I'm going to stick that down into this cage. And then I'm going to go back and get some of these other ones. And you can see by my plant here that they have you know, really moved in nicely. Um, and so we're going to take all of those different ones. Okay, and this is again sort of that earlier stage poupée. You can see a little bit closer here, a little further. We're going to put these, and there's about seven or eight here. Go back in here and take another one. And we just take them right off of the existing plant that they have. Again, we're going to put them gently into this cage so they can continue to eat um, and get as much food as they might want. Uh, we'll probably over the next two or three days um, clean this cage out and then again add some more parsley to be sure that they're getting all that they might want to eat. Uh, we're going to go over here and get this other one over here. Uh, Here we go. This is a little bit larger one. And put him in there as well. And I think that we have captured all of them. Let's see if there are any others sitting over here in the garden that we missed. Of course, again, it would be fine to just leave them out here um, and let them grow. But in this case, we're going to follow along with these guys and watch them turn into crystallines. And after they crystallize, within five to seven days, we're going to see beautiful black butterflies. Once the butterflies are hatched, we will release them back into the garden, 
and allow them to continue their cycle of life. So thank you for coming. This is Suzanne Wilkerson signing off. Uh, please feel free to visit us at Ambiance Garden Design. And we will give you another video once they hatch. So feel free to come and look us up at www.ambiancegardendesign. Again, this is Suzanne Wilkerson, North Carolina Certified Master Gardener. Have a great day.